Good day! Welcome to week 2, lesson Arts 10. For today's objectives, you will identify and apply the elements of arts through assessment activity. You will also identify the virus art movements and its distinct characteristics. Let's start with the elements of arts. The elements of arts are the building blocks used by artists to create a work of art. It consists of line, shape, space, value, color, texture, and perspective. Line The line is our basic means for recording and symbolizing ideas, observations, and feelings. It is primary means of visual communication. Lines always have direction. They are always active. There are variations of lines, which are actual line, implied line, and implied curved line, actual straight line, and implied curved line, line created by an edge, vertical line, which represents an attitude of alert, attention, and horizontal line, which, that represents attitude of rest, diagonal lines for slow action and fast action. Sharp jagged lines, dance of curving lines, hard line and soft line, and we have ragged irregular line. Shape Shape refers to the expanse within the outline of two dimensional area within the outer boundaries of the three dimensional objects. So it can be two dimensional shapes or three-dimensional shapes. Space. Space is the indefinable general receptacle of all things. It is continuous, infinite, and ever-present. The visual arts are sometimes referred to as spatial arts because most of the art forms are organized in space. It can be overlap, overlap and diminishing size, vertical placement, or overlap, vertical placement, and diminishing size. Next, we have value. Value refers to the lightness and darkness of surfaces. It ranges from white to virus grays to black. It can be a property of color or an independent element color. So it can be from the virus colors of blacks to gray or colors. Color. Color is a component of light. It affects us directly by modifying our thoughts, moods, actions, and even our health. Color exists only in light, but light itself seems colorless to the human eye. So, called color is the effect of our eyes of light waves of differing wavelengths or frequencies. So, we have primary colors and secondary colors. Texture. The textile qualities of surfaces or the visual representation of those qualities is referred to as texture in visual arts. Actual textures are those we can feel by touching. Here is an example of a painting full of texture. Last is perspective. Perspective is a point of view. In the visual arts, it can refer to any means of representing three-dimensional objects in space or two-dimensional surfaces. It is a system designed to depict the way objects in space appear to the eye. Here is, a, here is an example. In the linear perspective, objects appear smaller at the distance because parallel lines appear to converge as they recede into the distance. And the last meeting of the lines on the horizon is called the vanishing point. Congratulations! Now that you finish your learnings and the elements of arts, you may now proceed to activity. Assessment 1. Direction. Create something beautiful and useful artwork to make your life more meaningful by applying the different elements of arts and principles of designs that you have learned concerning the talent that God has given you. Write also your reflection on a sheet of paper. So with this activity, you will create an artwork you may paint, 
you may draw and put colors. Make sure that the elements of arts can be seen on your output. After doing the activity, you may now send your activity to your MAPIT teacher. Let's now proceed to our next lesson, Art Movement. Art Movement is the path the viewer eye takes through the work of art, often the focal areas. Such movement can be directed along lines, edges, shape, and color within the work of art. Artists use movement to direct the viewer's eye to the work of art. Impressionism in the second half of the 19th century emerged the Impressionist movement. Impressionist artists moved away from established practices and discovered new ways. They used pure and mixed colors side by side using short, broken strokes from visual, more visual effects on the subjects. They started on something new, like capturing scene of life like household objects, seascapes, houses, and ordinary people. They preferred working outdoors in natural light, incorporating unusual visual angles. Out of proportion objects, subjects place off-centered and empty spaces on the canvas. Impressionist has its characteristics. For us to remember, let's have this. Broken stroke. Impressionism's characteristics is broken brush stroke. Second, you can see also light. Third, is outdoors. They like more on scenery, outdoors, and paintings. Weather. So the painting in Impressionism, painting or art, can notice different types of weathers. There are several artists under Impressionism art. We have first, Claude Monet. Claude Monet was a famous French painter whose work gave name to the art movement Impression, which was concerned with capturing light and natural forms. His painting is more on natural sceneries and outdoors. Example of it is the bridge over Pond of Water, which he wants to show the world the flower gardens and ponds of water lilies through his painting. Other paintings are the Impression Sunrise, Woman with a Parasol, and others. For more details regarding Claude Monet, you may scan your depth ed module. Next, we have Edward Monet. Edward Monet was a French painter who broke new ground by defying traditional techniques of representation and by choosing subjects from events and circumstances of his own time. He's famous in using a paint modern life subjects such as the Argentail and the bar at the Folies Vergerie. Third artist is Auguste Renoir. He's a French painter originally associated with the Impressionist movement. His early works were typically Impressionist snapshot of real life, full of sparkling colors and lights. According to him, my subject are actual people and figures. Some of the famous artworks that he have are the MLLE Irene Cahend Anverse or also known as the Little Irene and the Luncheon of the Voting Party. Moving on to next art movement, we have Expressionism. Expressionism is another group of artists who became popular in the 1900s. They created works with more emotional force and not on realistic or natural images. To attain this, they use distorted outlines, unrealistic and natural images. Their works are not actually what they see in the physical world but depends on their imagination and what they feel. So there are different styles that emerge within the Expressionist art movements. Example of an Expressionist painting is in the left side, which entitled The Scream by Edvard Munch. 
Neo-primitivism. It is an art style of combined elements from the natives of the South Sea Islander and the wood carvings of African tribes. Among the Western artists who adopted these elements was Amadeo Modigliani. It uses oval faces and elongated shapes of African art it can be seen in both his sculpture and painting. Observe the paintings and sculpture. They all have elongated faces. Next is Fauvesim. It is a style of Les Fauves, or also known as the French word the wild beast, a group of the early 20th century modern artists whose work emphasized with strong colors and visual distortions. The most known artist of Fauvesim was Henri Matisse. Here is the example of Fauvesim paintings. Fauvesim has its characteristics. These are the important use of a natural color gives new emotional meaning to the colors, creating a strong and unified work that appears flat on the canvas. Moving on is Dadaism. Dadaism is a style characterized by imagination, remembered images, and visual tricks and surprises, as is the painting of Mark Chagall and George de Chirico below. These artists turned their backs from using traditional styles in arts, leading to their new style called the Ninth Style, or Dadaism. The art, poetry, and performance produced by Dada artists often satirical and nonsensical in nature. The left side is an example of the Dadaism painting, I Am, I and the Vi Village by Mark Chagall. Next, we have Surrealism. Surrealism came from the term Superrealism, a style that depicts a logical, subconscious dream world. It is clear expression of departure from reality, as if the artists were dreaming, seeing illusions, or experiencing a change in the mental state. So, here is the example. So, as you see and notice, the images are distorted and very imaginative. Lastly, dealing with the social issues, we have social realism. It's an artwork movement that expresses the artist's role in social reform. The artists use their works to show protest against the injustices, inequalities, immoralities, and other concerns of the human condition. Social realists have addressed different social issues with the purpose of increasing people awareness leading to reforms in general welfare. Example of social realism paintings are Francis Halminski, The Miner's Wives, and her, the famous Pablo Picasso, Gonerica. Congratulations! You are just through with the first two major art movements, the Impressionism and Expressionism. You just have enough time, but there are still more. So let's keep going by doing this activity. So we have activity two, what I can do. Direction, create your own artwork, integrating the characteristics of any art movement. Use a short bond paper and put a title of your work. So with this activity, you will create an artwork. You may draw, paint, and use your learnings on the art movement. You may be influenced by the movement of the Impressionism or Expressionism. Write a title of your output. Once done, you may send your output to your math teacher. Another art form emerged in the 20th century. The abstractionist movement was existed from various intellectual point of view. This intellectualism was reflected in art. Expressionism was emotional, while abstractionism was logical and rational. Geometrical shapes, patterns, lines, angles, textures, and swirl of color were used. Representation of abstractionism depicts recognizable subject, while pure abstractionism does not recognize any subject at all. The abstractionist movement has four art styles, namely 
the cubism, futurism, mechanical style, and non-objectivism. To start with, we have cubism. From the word itself, cube. The art form uses cube in paintings. The cubism style was derived from the word cube, a three-dimensional geometrical figure composed of lines, planes, and angles. The famous artist under cubism was Pablo Picasso, a Spanish painter, sculptor, and foremost among the cubist known artists. Second, we have Futurism. Futurism is a style of art that began in Italy in the early 1900s. It is an art of fast-paced, machine-propelled age. Artists draw inspiration through motion, force, speed, and strength of mechanical forms. Thus, their works depicted the dynamic sensation of this as seen in the works of Italian painter Gino Severini. So, example of this is the Armored Train by Gino Severini. Any paintings under Futurism reflects what the artist see in future. Next is Mechanical Style. In the mechanical style of art, basic forms such as planes, cones, spears, and cylinders all fit together in a precise and neat manner. An example of this is The Desk in the City by Fernand Ledger. Lastly, we have the non-objectivism. From the term non-object, works in the non-objectivism style did not make use of figures or even representation of figures. On the left side, you can see an Last but not the least is OP art and pop art. Optical art or OP art is another art movement that gives visual experience. A form of action painting taking place in the viewer's eyes giving the illusion of movement as you see on picture number 2. Popular art or pop art is movement made of the use of commonplace trivial even nonsensical object that pop artists seem to enjoy and laugh at, like the picture number one, Manilin Manu. Now that you finished the lesson in abstractionism, impressionism, and expressionism, you may now proceed to your next activity. Answer the post test given. 1. Which of the following is an art style of expressionism? A. Abstractionism, B. Impressionism, C. Neoprimitivism, or D. Post-Impressionism. Number two, this art style was known from its term hobby horse, referring for being a non-style art. A. Dadaism, B. Fauvism, C. Social Realism, or D. Surrealism. Three, Antipas Tolotavo was known for what art style? A. Dadaism, B. Fauvism, C. Social Realism, D. Surrealism. 4. What art movement is characterized by depicting a logical, subconscious dream world and came from the term Super Realism? A. Dadaism, B. Fauvism, C. Social Realism, or D. Surrealism. And number 5. Which of the following art style is used to raise awareness to create reform to the society? A. Dadaism, B. Fauvism, C. Social Realism, D. Surrealism. You may use your digital module in finding the answer of the following questions, or you may search and see videos in MAPI page to seek answer. This ends up our week 2 art in MAPI 10. You may access our answer sheet in our MAPI 10 school year 21-22. You can also get your study guide and performance task at this page. Just simply click send message and click your desired material needed. You may also visit our page for other learning materials and videos every week for additional information. Pass your output via FB Messenger until Friday. We are hoping that the enough time given is a lot in doing the said simple activities. Keep updated and connected. God bless learners and 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग